Go to sketchfab.com and search for a charm 3D model. If you already have your charm of your choice, then skip this part. I will be using this flash emblem as my charm. Once you select yours, you should see a download button. If not, then choose another one, pal. I like to choose the OBJ models, so if you see OBJ, use that one. FBX works too! In your downloads folder, go to the charms zip folder and extract the files so it's no longer zipped. Be sure to extract all of the zipped folders, even the ones inside the folder. This folder is the main folder that we need. Once you see your textures and OBJ model, you are good. Now enter Blender. Now import your charm. I will be importing the OBJ, but you import whatever model you have. Go to File, then Import, then Wavefront OBJ, and then Find and Import the OBJ model like I do. Once the model is imported, it will be small or big depending on what object it is. For me, it's very big, pause, so let's scale it down. Press B to get the Box Select tool. Then drag the box over all of the charm pieces, then scale it down by pressing S and moving the mouse down. You just want to make the object smaller than your gun. Then use the Move tool to drag it by your gun. I was having some weird navigation glitch, so I'll just speed this part up. Okay, so now if your charm has multiple pieces, you need to join them together. Click B, then select the pieces of the charm, then click Ctrl plus J to combine them. Now we can start the texturing process. How this works is your object needs solemn shaders in order to work in game, so go to the Materials tab. Enter Edit Mode, and in the Materials tab, click Select on the materials listed, and they will highlight in orange. This way, you know what color is assigned to what material. If you do not have any materials, just hang out. We will get to that point. So as you see, these are the colors for the emblem. I will replace these with Solemn's textures. Go to the Solemn's tool and go to the shader's materials. I will be using this Reflect shader for the lightning bolt. Use whatever shader you want based on your charm. So this Reflect shader will be changing this yellow color of the emblem. So, go to the original material for the color you are changing and copy the hex code, then go to Photo P or Photoshop and create that color image, then convert it to a DDs. I will do that for all of the colors I will replace. You need to do the same. And if you don't have materials, just create the colors you need for the charm. Now that the textures have been created, we can start the process. First, rename the new shader to the original material's name or color. And then scroll down to Solemns and Textures, then add your color texture to the first one. Embed that texture and add your other textures. For me, it will be this Reflect texture. Embed that one too. Now for the values, I will set the power of the Reflect. If you are using Reflect, then you can use this value too, if you wish. Now click the object, then enter Edit Mode. Then in the Materials tab, go to the original color that you are editing now and click Select. Then scroll down to the new shader and click Assign, and it will replace the original texture with your new one. To know if it worked, go to the original material and delete it. Then click the object and enter Edit Mode. Then go to the new material and do Select, and if it glows orange, it worked. If it does not glow, then try again. Now I will add the color to the white part of the charm. It's the same exact process as before with the first shader, but this time I will be using a normal spec shader and not reflect. Now I will add the white shader along with its smooth, normal map and spec map. These maps are in the Discord if you need them.
Boom! Now no need to touch the values. You can now assign the original shader to the new one. Now once I click select on the new white shader, it will highlight orange. Then delete the old material, then rinse and repeat for all of the materials until your charm has its color but using Solemn's shaders. And now you are done with the materials. Thank God! Here is how my charm looks after doing that. Your charm should be fully textured too. Now click the charm and it should highlight. Then click V and click Convert to Drawable. Now go to the Object Properties tab and set the Rotation X value to 90. Now we can start to position our charm. You can resize it and move it to where you would like on the gun. The charm is complete. Now join it to the gun by clicking the charm, then hold left shift and click the gun. Then do control, plus J and it will combine. Now your gun is finished. Just right click the charm in the collection scene and delete it. It won't delete the charm model. Now you can export the gun. Click A, then go to the Solemns tool and click Export Code Walker and export it to a folder, then close Blender. Now drag over the XML to Code Walker, then open the new YDR in OpenIV to view the gun and charm. As you can see, it worked, of course. Now we can take a look at it in game.